If you guys have been watching Tech Yes City for a while, then you'll know I'm all about sharing and caring. And today we're gonna to be giving away an RTX 3070 complete gaming PC. And there's gonna be a special to this one too. Well, it's actually two special things. And that is Dadman is gonna be building this PC and that marks a first for the channel. Where in the past, I've built Dadman a gaming PC for him, but he's never built one himself. And so this PC is not only gonna be given away, but it's gonna be built by a 69 year old retired builder. It quite simply doesn't get much better than that. Though, if you guys want a chance at winning this, then stay tuned. I'm gonna be dropping some hints throughout the video on how you can get in with a chance to win. There will be a link in the description below, but if you win, there's also gonna be a code that you've gotta say in order to win this giveaway. And I'm only gonna say that some part throughout this video, so stay tuned. Though today's video is made possible thanks to Gigabyte, Intel, and PLE, who are one of the most reputable PC retailers down under in Australia, where what you're seeing with today's video, they're offering this PC, once it's finished, of course, all built up, ready to go, meaning you don't have to waste time installing Windows, tuning XMP profiles, and building the system, where it also comes with a 24-month return to base warranty, meaning if anything goes wrong with this PC after you purchase it, you can just take it back and they'll fix it for you hassle-free. Another thing is too, they're following that tech yes meta of ready-to-go gaming PCs, and they got this thing ready where you can just order it, click and collect the same day you order it, meaning there's no downtimes if you're wanting to get in with games like Cyberpunk. Now I'm adding my personal touch with today's gaming PC. Whoever wins it is going to also get a free copy of Cyberpunk 2077 thrown in. So I'll be putting all the necessary links in the description below. Without further ado, let's bring down our special guest and get him to build your next gaming PC. Hello, Tech yes, citizens. I'm gonna be building you a gaming PC today. Have you ever built a gaming PC before? No, I've never done it. But is it difficult or easy? Because, I mean, is it anything like I used to do, nuclear fusion and rocket science? Well, oh, I'll give it a go. Well, it's, it's nothing like nuclear fusion and rocket science, which you've already done many pieces on in the past. So this should be a breeze for you. And the funny thing is, I hope it doesn't go up in a bang. So first things first, we are going to mount the power supply in the PC. And uh, which one of these do you think is the power supply? I'd go for that one there. That one right there? Yep. That's exactly right. And where do you think we mount this? Just on the side there where the uh, power goes in. Just there? Yep. yep. Perfect, let's do it. So let's, uh, I'll let you uh, put the power supply in there. Okay. And now the orientation of this, the fan has to go down because Otherwise, it won't be able to suck cool air into the, the power supply to cool itself it down. Goes down like that. Yeah, there it is. I oh, know the other way around. Oh, right. Like that way. Okay. Yep, yeah, and then you just put that in. And we might want to mount the cables in first. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll, yeah, so we'll, we'll actually get the cables on first. So I've got the cables you need here. Yep. So we'll just put those on. Right there. And, um, they're modular cables, so I have to put down the camera and quickly show you how to do this. Okay. Step one complete. Done. So we've done the power supply, it's now time to install the DDR4 memory here, and so what I've done is I've actually lined this up for you. So all you have to do is put the boat apply pressure on both ends at the same time and then push the ram into the slot. There we go, and do that for the second one. How easy is that? Too easy. Now, uh, we're working on the motherboard. Since uh, mum's not here, can I call it the fatherboard? You can, yeah. So okay. we're gonna just, we're gonna install the fatherboard soon. So for this next part, I'm actually gonna do this because if you mess this up, you can potentially brick the whole build or you can have a lot of troubles on your hands. And that is installing the CPU and more so not bending any pins. Now, one thing is, is when I have uh, went to retailers recently, they're showing me these motherboards and they're checking me or making sure I check the pins on camera 
when I buy motherboards. And I said, I asked them, like, I've never had this in the past. Why is this? And they said, lately, so many people have been buying motherboards or CPUs on the Ryzen side and having bent pins, bringing them back and saying it's the retailer's fault. So it is a little bit sensitive. And see here, we just got to go careful. Be really careful and just let the CPU slot into place, making sure you don't uh, bend any pins or anything in the process. So that's installed like that. And do you want to push that clip down? Definitely. So you push it down and then you slot it into underneath. The, now you've got to bring it to the right a little bit. And then, no, 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 not the bolt. Just bring that into the right like that. No, no, no. Now here, yeah, like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, just push it down quickly to make it look like you've done it. There you go. Too easy. All right. Dadman, you just installed the CPU. All right, Dadman, for this next part, do you want to, um, do you want me to install the motherboard and then you put your hands in the shot and make it look like you've installed the motherboard? Yeah, why not? So for this next part, we're gonna just put the motherboard in like this, where you've gotta be careful when installing a motherboard to the most important part is to make sure that the anything on the back here doesn't scratch the standoff uh, screws. Where I've had people um, build their own PCs locally here and they've, they've got a build that doesn't boot up. And then I've asked them, I said, what's going on? And I've checked it out and I've seen things busted off the back of the motherboard. So uh, for this next bit, Dad, you can grab the motherboard, but be very gentle in putting it and lowering it in now. So, yep, just lower it in. Don't, don't scrape anything or scratch anything when you're lowering the motherboard in. And then just, uh, I'll help you here. So you can just grab the steel plate and just, you can grab, usually grab the heat sink if it's got one. We're just lining it up now with the stand. See that standoff? We've got, we got a guide one right there. And so that's it. Now all we have to do is now screw these nine holes through with a screw and the motherboard will be in place. So that's the NVMe drive. Wow. Wow, okay, so now we're gonna put the CPU cooler on. So I've pre-installed this CPU cooler here where I took these two fans out that were on this case and I put them at the front here in front of this water cooler. So how we're gonna do this is I'm gonna put some thermal paste down here because I had to take the thermal paste off just so it's shooting, I had to do camera work for the video. But I'm gonna put some thermal paste on here and then all you have to do is put it on and then screw it down. You ready for that? Yeah, for sure. So like that, grab that. Grab that one, so I'll give you this one. Put it on the diagonal here. This one's a little... So now we're going to install the extra RGB in this computer where we've got three fans going in and an RGB strip. So just screw these off here. I've just started something completely new on the computer industry. The computer now has a fan club. I've just started something completely new on the computer industry. The computer now has a fan club. The fan club. The computer now has a fan club. The computer now has a fan club. The fan club. The fan club. The computer now has a fan club. The 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 you just wave your hand in front of it. Just uh, tie off here, tie off there, tie off there, and there. Like and it's it. done, yep. yep. Easy. Uh, now, Brian, all jokes aside, this has been a fascinating experience and I've learnt a lot. 
So you've learned how to build a PC? Yep. Now, tech yes, citizens, hit the like button and jump in with a chance to get this giveaway PC. Though there is one more question. What do you want to name this PC in Windows 10? Uh, well, I can read there, Gigabytes. Call it Databytes. And so me and Dadman have just built this gaming PC. It's time to check out the temperatures and the performance and see how well the Databyte gaming PC runs. And we are now at the finish line with the Databytes gaming PC. We've tested the temperatures and they are really cool. They're really quiet, which is what you want for that final end game gaming experience. In terms of FPS, we've got three different resolutions. We benchmark these games at 1080p, 1440p and 4K. And it's gonna do all those resolutions absolutely fine depending on the settings you want to play around with cyberpunk being a very demanding game you'll definitely want to keep this on in my opinion medium settings with dlss turned on pretty much at all resolutions because as you're stepping down to 1080p you'll definitely want to get some high refresh rate if you're using a build like this for gaming now some final things to go over giveaway pc thank you guys so much for watching the channel in 2020 and all the support you're giving us. It really means a lot to me when you guys just hit that like button, you get in on the action. You guys are providing suggestions for videos too and I'm checking that out. Now, I do wanna to apologize too in this video. If I've missed a suggestion or if I've missed an email or if I've missed replying to someone, I do apologize. It's just hard keeping to up the whole rhythm of doing videos and, and everything and also keeping up the energy with 2020 being in such a crap year. But it's just hard doing all that and then not, yeah, you know, like your attention span is just, it starts to get burnt out. And so I do apologize if I've missed one of those suggestions, even if I said I'd get onto it. Uh, my memory has just been like all over the place, just trying to get what's ahead of me one day at a time. And that's how I've been working and getting through 2020. It's just been the next day and then the day after and that's pretty much it. But this one right here, guys, this is a big thank you to all you guys that support us. And I hope one of you guys out there has a great gaming experience on it once you get this PC. Now, it's gonna be an international giveaway and I'm gonna pay for the shipping as well. Doesn't matter where you live in the world, you're going to get it. Now, if there are some rules in your country, then technically I'm gonna be selling this gaming PC to you for a dollar. And in terms of what else you can be uh, doing with this gaming PC, there's also some custom cables that we threw, um, that were, they go into the PLE build. So if you buy this in Australia from PLE, you're gonna get the cable extensions and they're gonna be pre-installed. You're also gonna get this surge protection power board, which is actually a nice little touch. You do wanna have a uh, surge protection with all the lightning storms going on recently. And here's a funny thing about uh, lightning storms, which is kind of off topic to this video, but after a massive lightning storm on the Gold Coast, I'll get a couple of messages the next day like, oh man, my computer isn't working properly. Can you help me fix it from people who've bought PCs in the past? So it is a real scenario. It can uh, mess things up. So definitely make sure your PC is on a surge protection point. And that aside, great PC. Thanks uh, again for Intel and PLE and also Gigabyte for sponsoring this one out and it's gonna be an awesome gaming PC. The reason we didn't use the extensions in today's build is because Dadman built it and we just wanted to not confuse him or not confuse you guys. And I actually personally prefer the all black cables with the uh, build with just the RGB and the clean components inside, as well as the fact that cable extensions will add a lot of extra clutter in the back of the PC, which I feel is gonna be a very tight fit for cable management if we decide to put them on with the 275R. 
Though now for some more specifics about the giveaway, links in the description below. In order to enter, there's more entries you can gain by doing some other things. But the most important thing is, is that you subscribe to the channel, you've hit that like button, and you've dropped a comment in the comment section below because I'm actually gonna be picking the winner from Gleam, but they're also going to have to make sure that they've commented on the video. And so those two have to line up. If you haven't commented on the video, then unfortunately I'm gonna redraw the winner because I wanna make sure that people are watching through to the end and they've been supporting the channel and they've been watching the content in order to get a real chance to win this PC. Because what happens with giveaways is a lot of people just come in and then they don't watch the content. They've never really watched the content and supported the channel, but they just wanna quickly get in with a chance and move on to the next channel or move on to the next giveaway. And I actually want this giveaway to go to someone who's been uh, sticking around Tech S City over the years, which I know a lot of you guys have been or someone who's new and they're loving the content. And with all that out of the way, the winner will be determined in two weeks time. And I'm going to update this video with a top pinned comment and announce the winner on Twitter, as well as emailing you directly. So it's gonna be hard for you to miss out on getting this gaming PC if you're the winner. So make sure you check your emails, make sure if you've got an email that's, that's been closed off or whatever, make sure you come back to the video and check because I'm gonna redraw the winner if you don't claim it within 48 hours. And also do let us know in the comments section below, what was your favorite part of 2020 here at Tech Air City and what do you wanna see more of? And don't worry, there's gonna be no disqualifications in the comments section, you can double comment. That's not how you're actually winning the giveaway this time around. And with all that out of the way, we have the question of the day here, which comes from Geo Ochoa one And they ask, does this need a Wi-Fi adapter to play wirelessly? And they're talking about a PC we did a while ago for Call of Duty, put the link up here. And most budget PCs are going to need Wi-Fi adapters. You can get the PCIe adapters. If the motherboard has the M.2 slot, you can get an M.2 Wi-Fi adapter, or you can get a USB adapter. Usually the USB ones are the cheapest. And I find if they're a decent brand, and they continue to work fine, or if you get one that's got a lot of good feedback, those are the best to go for, and pretty much it's gonna cap out at your internet. So if you've got 100 megabits per second download, getting a 360 megabits per second Wi-Fi adapter is not gonna make a difference to your internet speed. So that's the most important thing. Most of the time, most people only need the 100 or the 150 megabits per second Wi-Fi adapters, though do make sure you get one that does work, because I've gone through a lot of cheap Wi-Fi adapters that are just absolutely terrible, but I've also finally in the last few months found a Wi-Fi adapter that is cheap and it does work pretty well. Though also make sure you tune in tomorrow where I'm gonna be doing a live giveaway stream too, and that's gonna be with some other goodies given away live on the actual live stream, so stay tuned for that. And also a big thanks to Dadman for coming in and making this year's giveaway just that much more special. Now, I know you guys love him, I love him as well, and I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now, bye.